this is my husband. I'm pretty into him. So <laughs> I figured he was an appropriate guest to have come on the day that we talk about couples vibrators. What I love about it, if you're kind of just diving into the world of vibrators, this could not be a more perfect starter vibrator. It's adorable. I feel like it's very approachable because it's really cute. Um, it's 10 speeds, so, and it's pretty quiet. So let me, let me see if I can turn it up. So that's like on a high high. And then it has all the fun like <laughs> So like my husband, it was so funny because initially he was like, well, people aren't gonna think I'm like bad in bed because we use toys and stuff, are they? I was like, no, no, no. I just wanted to make sure that that was clarified for anyone <laughs> else who had that question. He's pretty fantastic. <laughs> We use toys for good times. Anyway, I want to talk about some of the reasons that incorporating a vibrator might not be a bad idea or just, you know, fun. Um, for us, it's usually for a good time or just laziness. Mm -hmm. Like I really enjoy not having to try super hard and <laughs> vibrators make it so that you really don't have to. Like I said, if you're doing like a, what are you doing? <laughs> like a Sunday afternoon spooning, you know, and you're like, I don't want to like, do anything else. I just want to lay here and that's all. Vibrators have got you. I'm telling you. They make it a little bit easier. Um, some other great reasons to kind of think about bringing some toys into your relationship. Um, special occasions. I feel like for me that takes some of the pressure off of special occasion sex. Because it's always like, oh, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Get out the swing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> holster up the in the lingerie and do the you know like you feel like you have to kind of like new stuff and so breaking out like a new toy on a special occasion is great because you're like what are we gonna do with this you know so I think it's fun for special occasions um I also if you're just stuck in a rut so we have been married 14 years in March we have been through a couple ruts I feel like sexually in our marriage where, well, not even ruts, like, it's, so, like, we kind of have our way that we do the things, right? And so, by the third time that you're like, okay, we've had sex the exact same way three times in a row now. Like, we need to, or like four times in a row, we're fine, you know? Because, like, we have our comfort thing that we do, that we, like, I know this works, so we're just going to do it this way and get it done. And there's nothing wrong with that, because that's part of being married 14 years. <laughs> If it works, it works. Yeah, that's the thing. And I don't, I mean, no one's sad. I don't hate it. <laughs> but it's kind of fun to incorporate a toy into that. If you feel like you're stuck in a rut or you feel like you want to mix things up, um, you know, being in a relationship. Um, it's a great way to try new things. It's a great way to explore. I feel like toys kind of help you explore um, new sensations, um, new spots. I know some people that who've never really experienced good G-spot stimulation until they tried out a vibrator, especially one of these, I'm gonna show you one tonight that does both. Um, so for kind of messing with that, ooh, what does this type of stimulation feel like? I feel like a vibrator can kind of introduce some of that. Um, postpartum, you guys. After you have a baby, sometimes it's a little bit scary easing back into sex. Um, I don't know, like it's, with each kid even, you're kind of like, okay, yeah, no, we, we're gonna, we gotta ease back into that again. And I know I'm gonna like this later and it's gonna be totally fine and everything's gonna be fine. And But it is, it's weird easing back into sex after, you know, I mean, for me too, like with our second and our third, wasn't super sexually active for like the last three months of my pregnancy because just didn't feel like it and just couldn't. And then you wait six weeks before you really do much after. And so like what four so months is to? a long time <laughs> to not have sex <laughs> anyway. And then on top of it, you're like, I hope everything's got like put back together where it went, where it belongs, you know? So I feel like, and this would be a whole nother great conversation we could have. I feel like so many of my parts healed fantastic and once everything was healed I was able I like new things like I feel like g-spot sensation has been much higher since having kids for me than before um, but it's different and easing back into it it's kind of nice something like this little guy just gentle little vibrator like I said he's really not intimidating at all 
but if you put this on your clit, you just can't help but have a good time. <laughs> so postpartum, menopause, same thing, a lot of women that are starting to experience some of that vaginal dryness and hormone changes and things that go along with menopause, something like a toy or a vibrator might not be a bad idea to kind of help ease, make things easier. Just makes things easier sometimes. Um, and then laziness. Laziness is always on my list because guys, I just, I love, love the laziness that comes with the vibrator. I don't want to talk about is the Ava. Um, this is the Ava. I have wanted to get my hands on one of these since they came out. So the story behind the Ava is like, I just love it anyway. It's a crowdfunded, female invented sex toy. So a couple things I love about this, it is hands free. So basically, if I'm like standing like so, you're gonna put it up against your body and you're gonna take your labia and fold it over the top, right? So we have we have our, our lady lips <laughs> and we just tuck <laughs> under like this. They have videos on their website too that are much better than this. So it's really easy. You just click the top. It's a little rumbly. And there's just three speeds, which I love. I was surprised at how well this this little lady stayed in place during play. We vibe sync. And when I first got it, I was a little bit like, ah! and I'm still a little bit like, ah! so, but this is a super fun toy. Um, I like it, it's adjustable. So this little bendy arm does a little bit of this. And I think, yeah, this guy does a little bit as well, right? So the way that this goes is like, if I'm sitting like this, you put it in like this. This part right here sits on your clit and this cradles your G-spot and it's flat so your partner can get in past it. So you're able to have this penetrates you along with your friend. So this is something you wanna use lubricant with for sure. Um, I don't feel like I lubed it up quite enough for you. It was a little bit rough going in initially because we needed to be a little more slippery. Yeah, you need to make sure this part is well lubricated, ready or, to go, or this part is well lubricated. You Someone again. needs to be slippery in this equation for this to work really well. <laughs> but you can actually control this with your phone, and if you have a partner that lives far, far away from you and wants to, you know, have a good time, they can control it with their phone remotely. So. Hypothetically, I could text Mr. Davis at work and say, hey, I'm at home playing with this. What are you doing? And he could get on his phone, log on, and could do the, like, control it, which is kind of fun. Um, I think, like I said, for long distance partners is particularly awesome. So I'm gonna sync this up and kind of show you. We'll pair it. You guys, I love this so much. So what this does is the top vibrates and then the bottom vibrates and then the top vibrates and then the bottom vibrates and then the top. And it's really cool too because you can turn it down. So you can say, I don't, want the, I don't want the internal one to vibrate quite that much or I want it to vibrate more and I don't want the top to vibrate so much. And it will turn it down and make it more gentle. But this was so weirdly relaxing and very... And if I can match what it's doing. No one's sad about that. That went super well. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's been so fun to talk about this. Like I said, if you do have any other questions, please contact me. I could talk about vibrators all day long. It's true. And will. <laughs> but... If you wanna go check out that post, there's $10 off, so you can go check these out. There's links to all of them. Um, I have the coupon code and more information too if you kinda of wanna know more about specs and pricing and things like that. Um, thanks for joining us. 